Homeward Bound, January 1st, The Book of Books The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. John chapter 6 verse 63 <clears throat> The Bible was not written for scholars alone. On the contrary, it was designed for the common people. The great truths necessary for salvation are made as clear as noonday and none will mistake and lose their way except those who follow their own judgment instead of the plain revealed will of God. We should not take the testimonies of anyone as to what the scriptures teach but should study the word of God for ourselves. If we allow others to do our thinking we shall have cripple energies and contracted abilities. The noble power of the mind may be so dwarfed by lack of exercise on themes worthy of their concentration as to lose their ability to grasp the deep meaning of the word of God. The mind will enlarge if it is employed to trace out the relation of subject of the Bible, of the subject of the Bible, comparing scripture with scripture and spiritual things with spiritual. There is nothing more calculated to strengthen the intellect than the study of the scriptures. No other book is so potent to enclay, to, sorry, to, to elevate the thought to give vigor to the faculty as the broad ennobling truth of the Bible. If God's word were studied as it should be, people would have a breadth of mind, a nobility of character and a stability of purpose rarely seen in these times. <clears throat> but there is but little benefit derived from the hasty reading of the scriptures. One may read the whole Bible through and yet fail to see its ability, sorry, its beauty or comprehend its deep hidden meanings. One passage studied until its significance is clear to the mind and its relation to the plan of salvation is evident. It's of more value than the perusal of many chapters with no divine purpose in view and no positive instruction gained. Keep your Bible with you as you have opportunity to read it. Fix the text in your memory. Even while you are walking the streets, you may read a passage and meditate upon it, thus fixing in the mind. It's in the mind. We cannot obtain wisdom without earnest attention and prayer for study. There must be careful research and prayerful of reflection as such study will richly be repaid. Never should the Bible be studied without prayer. Before opening its pages, we should ask for the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit and it will be given.